हायर एजुकेशन अ हिस्टोरिकल परस्पेक्टिव हायर एजुकेशन एज वी हैव इट टुडे इज द आउटकम ऑफ अ लॉन्ग सोशो हिस्टोरिकल प्रोसेस ऑफ एवोल्यूशन इन अ ब्रीफ प्रेजेंटेशन सच एज दिस वी कैन ओनली हाईलाइट सम इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ अ कैरेक्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड इट्स डेवलपमेंट अ फुलर अकाउंट कैन बी फाउंड इन द लिटरेचर सम ऑफ विच इज लिस्टेड एट द एंड ऑफ द यूनिट अ बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन इज दैट it informs a person and it enlightens him or her without things he or she does not know and thus initiate him or her into asking all sorts of questions about nature about life about society and its organizations one is made capable of thinking for herself and finding answers to the questions which one considers important or significant for one's life in this sense education is said to be a liberating force it makes the individual free and capable of ordering his or her life according to one's own choice or playing a more active role in society either to preserve it or to change it this basic feature of education has led throughout history to education being used as an instrument of struggle for liberation or for suppression both by the individual and by the society in the earliest human societies what mattered most for the primitive man was survival in such a situation education was not a separate component of human activity and it was a means of handling over racial experience from the older to the younger generation but as social production increased and activities became differentiated in the sense that some people hunted others engaged in production of crops and still others actively fought tribal wars etc education became a distinct activity this was the stage in society when the most important question was whether to educate or not to educate individuals and if they were to be educated to what limited or broad purpose were they to be educated those who came to rule over such societies were naturally afraid that education would liberate the individual and he or she would be in a position to challenge their authority societies are known to have had laws to deny education to large sections of their population because education would cause disaffection this is the reason why for thousands of years in recent human history vast numbers were kept illiterate and uneducated the idea of universal education or education for all is a part and parcel of recent socio political ideas of recognizing that all men and women are equal before the law or that every member of the society has a vote and possesses other basic human rights we thus see that education is on the one hand a liberating force for the individual but on the other hand for this very reason it has been used for suppressing the individuals in all societies and for the same reason in the developing countries which have attained independence it would be tremendous social force for economic social and cultural advancement with this general understanding we can examine in some more detail how education of the individual has undergone changes and how ideas about transmission of knowledge and education and progress of society have evolved